All right, so here we are with my super expensive uh, Chinese grinder. Grind the little nipples off of there. And then I'm actually going to have to grind some more off of this end because I left it long. I, thought I should have cut it off, but I wasn't thinking. So here we go. So now we'll go, go to the next step. Alright, so I've been thinking about this for a few minutes. And uh, I was going to stick this guy in my little mill and you know, s spot drill it with a center drill and then, and you know, get it right in the center. But after looking at this a little bit closer, this thing is drilled, this hole is actually drilled off center from the best that I can tell. It's off to the, to the one side a little bit. So I don't know, I really hate doing this, but I'm going to try to drill it and use my piece here is a guide. Uh, I'm not quite sure how it's going to work, but make sure I'm nice and tight. Start out slow. And this is just a tiny, tiny little 1 16th inch bit, so... Make sure I'm perfectly lined up as best as I can be here. I'm sorry if I'm blocking your view, but... So I'm just checking to see, and it's actually seems to be working okay as long as I can keep it straight. I'm going to put a little bit of cutting fluid in there because a little fluid always makes life happier. And hopefully we'll get her straight here. That's the bad thing about doing this. Is you can't guarantee it going straight like you can with a... If you do it on a mill. Even, I won't feel good about it till I'm done. I don't feel good about it right now. But, if all else fails, we can make a new pin. through it anyways so let's check it out kind of scary there we go and we actually didn't we ended up pretty much in the same spot on the other side there so that was good so like I said I hate doing that but it, it worked out kind of sketchy <laughs> to say the least but so there, now we got our, our little hole drilled in our pin. So next, what I gotta do is I'm gonna clean this off a little bit. There's a little shard on there. We gotta cut our, our cutting edge. And then I'm gonna do <clears throat> take some measurements and, and see where I want it, and then I'll we'll continue on. 
All right, so the next thing we got to figure out is which way to cut our groove in. Um, <clears throat> because that hole was drilled in a uh, oblong shape, it does fit in there better one way, but um, if nothing else, we want to make sure that our slot is parallel with our hole here, because then when we go to, to use our arrow, our arrow will be lined up. There we go. Got a little flare on the end there so it wasn't sticking in there, but... <clears throat> Alright. So, if we want our table to go that way, which our arrow is point pointing that way, this machine is... It, it uh, clicks on the reverse stroke here, and then it pushes on the forward. So, our push would mean that our notch would be on this side because then they're pushing, we're turning so then on this side so I'll put my flat so it'll end up being like this, my flat side will be towards the back when my arrow is pointing that way <clears throat> if, uh, you know if, if you screw it up your arrow will be backwards. <laughs> but no, you, I mean this does fit, this pin does fit both ways, but it just fits better one way, so I'm going to try and make it that way. Uh, so I'm going to set this up in the mill and then we'll uh, take a cut. Alright, so I got my little mill set up. And I got my piece parallel to where I want it. I got a 60 thousandths depth cut and I measured up from my collar how deep. I'm going to go about 100 thousandths uh, longer than it was before, so I'll try and make a cut here, and hopefully my uh, hopefully my pin will cut without shattering around there too much. It's held in my little V and my thing here. It's just going to be a super light little cut. Down here, I'll take a look at it and see how it looks, and if I don't like it, I can always cut a little deeper. Uh, I'm still, you know, I'm a good 100,000 silver where I was before, so. Take a look at it here. I don't use air on most of my tools, so. I think that'll work. Um, my next step is to cut a, uh, let me figure out what my angle is on my little piece here, and I'll see if I can cut it. Um, we got to cut this back angle, if you can see it there, the back angle on, on our little piece there. So I'm not sure uh, if I'm going to do it in here. I could, I guess all I got to do is, um... Loosen this guy up and I can... Oh boy, it's been a while. <clears throat> Come on. Yeah, all you ought to do... This is just a cheap Chinese... ...vice. And I had it loose at one time, but... So my little vise here goes to 90 degrees, so maybe I will just leave it in there and then I'll cut it. I'll crank it up to... I can only go so far before I hit. I'm not quite sure what... Uh, that's 60 degrees right there. I'm going to take a break and see if I can figure out what that angle is and then we'll continue on. Alright, so I measured it and the best I could get is that it's about 40 degrees. Um, I'm not sure if that's what it's supposed to be, but that's what I'm going to take a cut at here. Um, I just tilted my table to 40 degrees and then we'll take a light cut here and check it out. Uh, I'm not going to go all the way down, but I'll go most of the way and then I'll take a look. Just a super light cut. I'm going to go down just a few thousands more. Crank down on my little table here for my fine adjustment. Ooh. 
dust and I've got off here, so there we go. I'm just gonna inch my way up to this thing because I don't want to overcut it, so I'm gonna stop and take a look at that. down just a little bit more I think up on these things and to take one big cut and, and find out you're wrong so that'll work I can clean that up by hand so I'll take a look at it and see what we did here <clears throat> alrighty so there is the old original one and here is the new longer one it's about a sorry I not watching what I'm doing here it's about a hundred thousandths longer than my old one. And uh, the issue I was having with my old one is when I put my knob on, uh, I would not get engagement with my old one here. So I think it got ground down to too much. And um, I have not hardened this, and I don't know if anybody knows out there, please let me know if I should harden this or not. Uh, I know those gears, I don't know if, I guess I'm not a, I'm not a super machinist and a metallurgist, so I don't know if the gears are, I don't think they're hardened, but I don't know. So if somebody knows, uh, please let me know if I should harden that piece or not. Uh, so all that's left to do is throw it in there and test her out. So let's go over to the machine and take a look. All right, so we've got our pin, our spring, and our little nut here. So we're gonna pop that guy in. And then here's the tricky part is my battery's about to die, so hopefully we can finish this before my battery dies. So I'm in there. And I gotta ever so gently turn and turn. I'm sure they make a special tool for this, or I could have made a special tool for this, but I don't. I didn't do it. If I can get started here, well, I won't pain you guys watching me do this, so I actually got it in there, but I'll get it in here and I'll uh, get it set up and we'll see if it works. Alright guys, here's a moment of truth. Hopefully you can see if it works before my battery dies here. So I got it in the one direction. And of course it's not working, so... Well, it works, but it doesn't work, so I'm going to have to adjust something else here, I think. But there's making a, a new prowl for a, a shaper, in this case, an, an Amco. So if you like that, please feel free to subscribe, like, comment, let me know. Like I said, if I should harden that pin or not. And uh, check out my other videos. I've got a bunch of other ones. You may just enjoy them or learn something. So, until next time. Take it easy and I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching.